Hello everyone, today is International Peanut Butter Day and guess what we're making today? Pancakes? No, we are making peanut butter with two different flavors. So this is the peanuts that I'm going to use for this recipe. We can buy this here in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's not salted, it's not full with oil, it's just perfect, it's a diet. So it's very good. Uh, so here we have 195 grams, but you can use as much as you can. This is very simple. So the first step that we're gonna do, we're gonna grind the peanut butter. I was gonna say kikiriki, but never mind. I used to grind peanuts in a coffee grinder. As you can see, I ground some uh, flaxseed yesterday. And it's, the, it's very good. So you can use coffee grinder, but since we got Nutribullet, I'm going to use Nutribullet to grind my nuts with the nut grinder blade. So we'll see how it goes. But this is very good if you don't have. This one is less expensive than this, so you can use this to grind flax seeds, peanuts, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. It's not good for almonds and it's not good for uh, walnuts. Let's do this. Okay, now it's time to grind the peanuts. This is the first time I'm using a Nutribullet. Give it a little shake. That's enough. See, all that it releases its own oil. So we're gonna make. Um, I'm gonna pour this in here. Now you need some kind of oil, and I'm using. Coconut oil, raw organic virgin, whatever it smells like coconut, and I'm going to melt it in a microwave for five seconds. This is good. So now you're gonna pour your coconut oil. You just need a little bit just for it to combine all together. Okay, it's better to do this with a fork so you can bring it all together. I like it thick like this, but if you want, you can put more coconut oil. So now we're gonna make vanilla and honey, and then I'm gonna use garam masala, because I love cinnamon, and I like this spice mix, and I'm gonna make some of these. So about half a teaspoon of the garam masala. I like it strong, but you can do your own flavor. I love this, I put this in my tea and cinnamon is very good. Very good for you. And I'm gonna add some honey for the sweetness. Just a tiny bit. So where did you get the idea of garam masala and honey? Did you find it somewhere on the internet or did you just dream it up? 
No, I just deem it up actually because I'm a huge fan of cinnamon and this uh, <clears throat> these spices and actually I got a masala it's gonna expire soon so why not use it <laughs> and you mix this until it's all nice and together That's it, that's your garam masala peanut butter. And this is nice with uh, some cinnamon toast or cinnamon and raisin or just a normal toast. I'll just have a little, little try. Mmm. Yeah, that's really nice. That is unbelievable, to be honest. This is mine. The other one is yours. So now we're gonna make vanilla, because vanilla gives a nice flavor. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. So it says 15 milliliters. I think that's about uh, one teaspoon. It's one pot. That's what it says, but it, I tried it in the coffee, so just a quarter of a teaspoon is beautiful. Okay, and I'm gonna add some honey to this as well. But you can completely omit the honey. You don't have to put honey, but it tastes much better. Try. <laughs> nice. Would you like to try it? Mm, I like the um, garam salama. Gar <laughs> garam salama. <laughs> I like the other one with garam masala. A garam masala. Let's just make sure we get a nice. Yeah, garam masala. It's quite unusual though, when you think about curry and honey and peanut butter. That's just how they call this spice. It's a mix of spices. So this is how I make peanut butter. We never buy peanut butter. First of all, it's so expensive in here and you get a small little jar, I think for five marks, which is two and a half euros for the standards of living here. It's too expensive. And then second of all, when you read the list of these ingredients, there's so many things. And like this bag, this is just like pure peanuts butter without any conservants or anything like that. And so that's how I make it and um, we love it. Sometimes I just lick it with a spoon because I don't need too much bread. And yeah, so tell me what you think about my peanut butter and please if you have any suggestions, what would you do different? I like it thick like this, but you can obviously put two tablespoons in, in 200 grams of ground peanuts to make it more smooth but I like it like this and <clears throat> leave a comments down below say what spices how you do it what spices would you put in and how would you flavor your peanut butter would you put chocolate maybe chocolate powder or let me know in the comments down below so if you like this video and if you want to see me to do more like this recipes please like share and subscribe to this channel